What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Show and Tech. It's been a while, but I'm super excited to be back talking about the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pros. Now, this is Soundcore's newest flagship set of headphones. And if you've watched anything about Soundcore's headphones in the past, you know that the Liberty 2 Pros were by far their best pair of true wireless earbuds when it came to the sound. But there was a couple of problems with them that even though they sounded so great were the reason why uh, I tended to go with the Liberty Air 2s more than these guys, even though their sound was better. So looking at the Liberty 3 Pros, these come in at a price of $149 USD. But if you use my link down below, you'll be able to get them for 20 bucks off. So coming in at 129 USD after this video, you're going to see why that is an absolute steal. So in talking about the features of these guys here, they again feature Soundcore's Astria Coaxial Acoustic Architecture 2.0. And really all of that means is that they use two drivers in each of the earbuds to give you some really, really great sound and some really, really great bass. Again, these guys have Hear ID and this time around they've added active noise cancelling, which we'll talk about in a second. They feature up to eight hours of playtime on each bud and you're able to use them singularly, meaning you can either have the left one in or the right one in and your music is going to play just fine. So taking a second to look at what comes inside the box and I'm actually very excited about the couple of changes that have been made to the box with this iteration. So I don't know if Soundcore listens to me specifically, but I know that in my past videos, I've made some complaints about how back in the day, they used to give you these ear tips on a separate card that you could kind of store in a drawer or whatever it might be. And then for some reason, they moved to this packaging where it was literally stuck inside the box and people were having to cut them out in order to store them without keeping this big cumbersome box. However, with this iteration, They've actually included, again, a removable card. So you're able to store these in a drawer, in a closet, whatever it might be. Or if you really want to keep it in the box, because the box does look a lot, a lot nicer this year and has this nice dedicated slot for the ear tips, then maybe that's something that you're going to want to do. So uh, again, talking about what comes inside the box, obviously you get the earbuds themselves. You get a nice charging case and this year the charging case is smaller than last year's iteration actually significantly smaller because the earbuds themselves are also smaller so take a second to notice that as we're looking at this nice crispy b-roll now rewinding for a second and looking at the ear tips that come in the box themselves you got four different sizes of ear tips and four different sizes of wings to make sure that you get that nice customized fit so that you get a great seal which is going to make the sound not only better uh, the bass more bumping and also is going to increase that active noise cancelling for you so they've provided lots of options in the box to make sure that you're able to get the perfect fit every single time and then finally you get a USB-C charging cable which by now you probably got a ton of them in your house anyways so you might not actually need this little guy here but it's great to know that these do charge with USB-C. So taking a second to look at the charging case again, this does come with a nice new backlighting system there and it just makes the earbuds look a lot better when you slide that case open uh, opposed to last year or the last iteration of them where there was no backlighting inside the case itself. It was just the earbuds that would light up at the top. This kind of makes it look a little bit more premium, a little bit more stylish when you open that case off and show it off to your friend. Diving deeper into that case, this is going to provide you with a total of 32 hours or up to 32 hours of total playback. And like we said, you've got eight hours on each individual bud. If you're somebody like me who typically wears only one at a time, that way I can easily talk to people or whatever have you, if I'm just using it for a phone call, whatever it might be, then that's going to be an option for you. That's also going to increase your overall amount of battery life. As we said, the case features USB-C charging it also has this uh, bluetooth pairing button right beside that and then at the front of it here you can see that there is a three led oh it's hard to see on camera but there's a three led um battery gauge to let you know how much battery life you have however if you want to see a more accurate depiction of the battery life left not only on the case but also on the earbuds then all you got to do is jump into the soundcore app and you're going to be able to see that information there this year soundcore has made an update to the overall design 
of the earbuds. They're actually significantly smaller and significantly more comfortable. If we look at last year's version, you can tell that there is a significant size difference. So if I pop these in my ears and take a quick look at them just to show you what that actually looks like in terms of how far the Liberty 2 Pros used to stick out of your ears. So you can see here, I've got the Liberty 3 Pros on my right ear and the Liberty 2 Pros on my left. And one big thing that bothered me about these, despite how great they sounded, was that I don't like how far they stick out of my ears. So I'm somebody that has very small ears. And to me, I always just thought it looks kind of funny sticking out that far. Whereas this year, taking a look at it, you can see that it's a lot slimmer profile because the earbuds themselves have a much smaller silhouette. So overall, much, much better design when it comes to that aspect. So if you've ever watched my previous Liberty 2 Pro reviews, uh, as I've said numerous times, they sounded amazing. The bass was great. They had crystal clear quality. However, they became very uncomfortable and heavy when they were in your ears. Now that the size of these has been reduced and they've provided updated materials on the ear tips and the ear wings and so many different sizes, I find that I can wear these for extended periods of time without having any issues whatsoever. So they're very, very comfortable. They're actually very, very snug as well. And they create a very tight seal. And in talking about that seal, another thing that I really like about uh, the Liberty 3 Pros and the newly updated Soundcore app is that you actually do have that nice seal test to make sure that you picked the right tips and earrings for you in order to maximize the overall ANC. So for the rest of the video, I'm just gonna keep these in my ears so that you guys can get used to seeing them and how they look. And hopefully it's something that is appealing to you because I honestly think that they look way, way better than the last version. Now in terms of the sound, there is no compromise. As you would expect with this being the newest version of the Liberty 2 Pros, they made sure to take all the things that we loved from the two pros and throw them into the three. So the base is still there, the quality is still crystal, and then they've added some features to it as well. So now you're able to have multi-point access when you pair these to your devices. So you can have it paired to your iPhone and paired to your iPad at the same time or your MacBook and quickly jump between those connections. I know that that used to be something that was kind of annoying to me having to you know, manually change my Bluetooth settings back and forth. That was something that I really loved with the um, the Apple AirPods Pro. That's why I use them for so long, was that they were able to seamlessly skip between my devices. Now that these have the multi-point connections, you're able to use these guys, not compromise on sound, uh, not compromise on comfort, not compromise on sound, not compromise on comfort, but still be as productive as you want to be in jumping between your devices. Now, speaking about the sound and the sound profiles, um, again, if you've ever watched any previous videos or even if you haven't, one great thing to note is that Soundcore within their app functionality, they have what's called Hear ID. So rather than choosing preset settings on how you want your sound signature to be. It actually goes through about a two minute ear test with you. It goes through a number of tones, like I said, in each of those ears and builds a signature profile for you. And what I found over the years is that the Hear ID profiles always, always, always to me sound better than the preset options that you have there, which to me means that it is actually taking into consideration your personal hearing ability and creating a, an overall EQ that speaks to you and your hearing ability specifically. On top of that, in order to make sure that you have the best active noise canceling, I've actually found that the active noise canceling on the Liberty 3 Pros is very, very good. Where these guys fall short, unfortunately, is in their ambient sound mode, um, where they're allowing environmental noise to pass through. So let's say you're walking on a busy street, you wanna be able to hear cyclists coming by, people on rollerblades, you wanna be able to hear when your bus or your train is pulling up. Um, the ambient sound mode on these does not sound very good. As a matter of fact, me personally, I wouldn't use it. If anything, I would just turn the ANC off, uh, use the passive noise canceling, and then still pick up my outside environment that way. Likewise, they've got a voice enhancement feature where it's supposed to help to pick up voices of people that you're talking to if you have your um, Liberty 3 Pros 
in your ears. And again, I found that that wasn't necessarily a feature that I would personally use. I don't think it really enhances voices at all. Um, it's just kind of a nice feature to have in the app to say that you've done it more so than it being something that is actually practical. And I mean, that's pretty much it. I didn't want to do a full review on these. I've only had them for about a week. Um, but in that week, I've been very, very excited about them. And I've been very, very happy with just how much further they've come from the Liberty 2 Pros. I really didn't think that Soundcore would be able to improve on what they did with that last version because of how great they sounded. Um, I had been asked on numerous uh, YouTube videos, comments, um, and even a podcast about what product I would like to see Soundcore uh, revamp. And it was always the Liberty 2 Pros because of how good they sounded, but how uncomfortable they were. Now that they are this comfortable, this small um, and look this premium with having that ANC that actually works so well. This would be my easiest recommendation for a Soundcore product moving forward. It used to always be the Liberty Air 2s, um, not, the, not the Liberty Pros, the Liberty Air 2s, the regular version without ANC. That was always my recommendation. But now coming at this price point of $129 with the $20 off uh, discount codes down below, these are so comfortable. The noise canceling is great and it does not compromise on the sound. So that's pretty much it from me. Um, one thing I did forget to mention is that they do come in a number of different colors. So I've only got the white and the black. However, they do have a pretty slick, uh, I think it's purple or like a, a, a magenta. I don't really know my colors that well. I'm pretty sure it's magenta, right? That, that's probably the name of it. Um, the magenta one looks very, very clean, very, very sexy. So um, if the white doesn't speak to you and you're sick of the traditional black, maybe you should take a look at that purple color. But that's been it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Much love as always. Throwing up two of them. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.